Howdy hacksters! Let's unbox this shiny new kit from Xilinx, the Kriya KV260 Vision AI Starter Kit. It's one of the Kriya SOM products from Xilinx, which are designed for low latency AI at low power. They feature pre-built hardware acceleration to enable powerful edge solutions, and I'm told that the setup process takes less than an hour out of the box. Just follow the five-step process on the Getting Started website, which we're about to do in a minute. Later on, we'll explore the Xilinx Model Zoo and the App Store. This kit is designed to be low cost and help you evaluate the module. Without needing expertise in FPGAs, you can accelerate development for applications like smart cities, AI and ML computing, security, and future retail. As I mentioned before, there's a couple of different options available. This $199 starter kit contains the non-production version of the K26 SOM plus a carrier card and active and passive cooling. It's got multiple camera and sensor inputs, video display outputs, a micro SD card slot, and USB 3.0 and Ethernet physical interfaces. If needed, you can also purchase the basic accessory pack, which comes with a compatible camera module, a micro SD card, and useful cables. You can also upgrade it to the production ready SOMs in commercial and industrial flavors. So, let's get this box open and take a look. Ooh! So, we have a little leaflet with getting started information, some developer stickers. Always nice. Some pink foam, and the model itself. So here we have the starter kit sum attached to the starter kit carrier card and the fan sync. Let's take a grand tour of the carrier card, starting up here with the micro SD card socket. Next to that is a Raspberry Pi camera connector, a JTAG debug port, and micro USB for UART and JTAG, plus a PMOD expansion interface. You've got a couple of IAS connectors here, which stands for the On Semi Image Access System. We have a few power status LEDs, and reset and firmware update buttons over here. Over here is the fan power hookup, a DC barrel jack for power in, and some more useful connectors. We've got display port, HDMI, four USB 3.0 ports, and ethernet. Then we have some status and heartbeat LEDs, and finally the SOM module itself with the fan sync. This integrated fan sync means that you can use the full 10 watt Zinc Ultrascale Plus MPSOC application power budget without any additional accessories. So Xilinx actually sent me a few extras which may or may not match exactly what you get in your kit. We have a 16 gigabyte micro SD card and the power supply adapter, which provides 12 volts at 3 amps. We have a Logitech Brio 4K Pro webcam that we'll be using in our demo. And there's also what appears to be a stand for the starter kit. Does this fit together? Oh, look at that! That's so cool! It's got this little tension fit, look at that. So, fun facts. On the Kriya KV260 Vision AI starter kit, there's actually primary and secondary boot devices, isolating the platform-specific boot firmware on the SOM itself from the Linux runtime OS, file system, and application that are stored on the micro SD card. That means you can develop and update your application code without having to rebuild and flash the boot firmware. It's part of what makes this kit easy and user-friendly. Another cool thing about the boot firmware is that two copies are stored on the SOM. If the system fails to automatically boot from the primary image, it falls back to the previously known good boot image. To load an SD card image, we're going to grab our 16 gigabyte or 32 gigabyte SDHC micro SD card. Download the Xilinx SOM starter Linux image from the Getting Started page, write the image to your micro SD card, and once it's done, plug it into your carrier card. The satisfying click. Once you've done that, make sure that you have the FTDI virtual COM port driver installed on your personal machine, and set up the USB UART connection using the directions given in the Getting Started materials. Connect the starter kit to an active Ethernet source, and plug in the 12 volt power supply to power it on. You should see these green LEDs come on. The SOM should automatically boot to Linux. Check for a response over your virtual COM port connection and for the green heartbeat LED flashing. When you first log in, you'll use the default username Petalinux and set a custom password. This is not a root user, so you may need to use sudo for some commands. Also note that you can't SSH into the board until you've set a password for this user. You should now check for internet connectivity using ping, DNS lookup, or your other method of choice. 
Once you've got it up and running, you'll be using the XMUtil platform management utility to manage many of the functions. The Linux image we're using includes a set of utilities for pulling down hardware accelerated application examples from the SOM Linux package feeds. These are reference designs for AI developers, embedded developers, and system architects, and can be updated and enhanced via software control or updating the AI models. You can find an up-to-date list on the Getting Started webpage. On the device, list the available applications using this command. Let's install the Smart Camera application. This application programs the SOM as a smart camera, with the ability to process a 1080p video stream from either a MIPI or USB camera, and display it over HDMI or DisplayPort, or stream it over wired Ethernet. Now you can load and swap any applications you have installed on the local file system. Check the list by running this command, or by exploring the opt slash xilinx directory. Choose one and start it by running this command and the application name. On the final page, you'll find a ton of additional resources, including that user guide we've been referring to, and the datasheet. On the Xilinx App Store, you can find other pre-built applications to run, and if you scroll down here, there's a link to find the firmware and Penalinux BSPs, as well as the latest Vivado files. Finally, there's a couple of extra resources where you can learn more and get your questions answered. Be sure to check back before starting a new project, because materials will be added and updated over time. It's a super cool kit that's designed to be super easy and super affordable for people who are getting started. You don't need FPGA experience, you don't need to install things, you can just run it in your browser and talk to it via FTDI. Hack on!